A warm welcome to you all. Today we will discuss about K-means clustering algorithm. It is the most popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm. Here the given data set is partition into K distinct non-overlapped clusters. The main application of this method is that it is useful for image segmentation, image classification and image compression. Let us see some key points in detail. Number one, the number of clusters. Here the cluster value has to be predetermined before running the algorithm. Number two, initialization. Here different initialization methods such as random initialization or k-means initialization has to be used to improve the convergence performance. Now we can see the working of this algorithm in detail. What do you mean by a k-means clustering? Suppose we are having a data set and we are going to divide that data set into clusters. Cluster means the objects which are similar are making into one group and which are dissimilar belongings to another cluster. Let us consider a simple example. Take the game cricket. In the cricket, we have to identify both the batsmen and the bowlers. Now we have to identify the bowler and the batsman. Suppose the data that contains both the runs and the wickets in the previous 10 matches. The bowler normally will have more wickets and the batsman have most number of runs. We are going to assign the data points. Here in x axis we are having wickets and in y axis we are having runs. x and y are the coordinates here. We want to cluster the given data with the help of k-means clustering algorithm. This is a cluster 1. In cluster 1 is classified with the help of most number of runs and lesser wickets. The cluster 2 is defined by a player with high wickets and a player with low wickets. We are going to solve this problem using k-means. We are having the same data set. Now we have to identify two centroids in a random manner. Then with the help of the Euclidean distance, Euclidean distance is defined to find out which centroid is closer to all the data points and the data points are assigned to the corresponding centroids. We have to reposition the centroids to find the optimum values. Here we have uh, find the new centroid so it should be repositioned. So based on the data points and with the help of Euclidean distance we are finding this new centroid position. Until the condition becomes static, we have to repeat this method. So at one point of time, it becomes constant. So we have to finalize the centroid point at that time. Types of clustering. Clustering is classified into hierarchical mode and partitional mode. Hierarchical clustering is further subdivided into agglomerative and divisive. Then Partitional clustering is further classified into k-means and fuzzy c-means algorithm. Application of this k-means clustering algorithm. So when you are in need of academic performance, we can define with this k-means algorithm to diagnose any patient medical record and in case of verb search engine, we can use this clustering and wireless connection, we can use this k-means algorithm. So for distance measure, we are using Euclidean based distance, Euclidean distance method. It is an ordinary straight line. It is a distance between two points. So this is the equation to find out the value of distance between a two points. So this is a k-means clustering algorithm working. So first we have to start with the data points. Then we have to find the elbow point. We can see what do you mean by this elbow point now. Then measure the distance between the points. Then the grouping is based on the minimum distance. We have to reposition the centroid present in the clusters. So if the clusters are stable means we have to perform the convergence or else measure the distance again 
then grouping is based on the minimum distance then again we have to reposition then the centroids till we can get the clusters in a stable value what do you mean by that elbow point suppose we have a data set for a grocery shop so the important thing to be noted is how we can choose the optimum value for a cluster how can we define the value for a cluster elbow point is helps to find the optimum value of the clusters so what do you mean by this wss wss defines the within sum of squares which means that it is a sum of square distance between each member of the cluster and its centroid so this defines the each member and this defines the centroid of the cluster so this is how elbow point is measured here in the graph in the x axis we have plotted the number of clusters and this is within sum of squares then we can see a very slow change in the value of wss after k equal to 2 which means that this is that optimal value for the cluster now we have to measure the distance for the delivery points the help of euclidean distance we have to measure the distance to find out which data point is closer to our centroid based on the distance from this centroid c1 and c2 we have formed two clusters some of the data points assume themselves to cluster 1 some of them belonging to cluster 2 so based on the euclidean measures it split them into their separate groups now we have to reposition the centroid for each clusters here it is repositioned now here it is repositioned as c2 the value of this cluster becomes static then we can say this algorithm is said to be converged consider this problem statement walmart suppose wants to open a chain of stores across the florida and they have to find out what are the optimum store location to maximize their revenue solution for this walmart they are having a strong e-commerce presence that is the number one point then it can use its online customer data to analyze where the customers are located with their monthly sales and see how the implementation is done we have to import that seaborn first for plot styling then we have to take the number of samples the centers and the cluster values then the random states are defined then we can have the output of that location we have to assign the cluster numbers then we have to predict the help of k means then import all the necessary library from sklearn matrix find the clusters take the random seed value as 2 now we have to randomly choose the cluster so when the condition is true then we have to assign the label to find the centroid then we have to find the new centers from the mean of the points so after repositioning the centroid and when the centroid becomes static we have to check for convergence we can get the correct output by establish the walmart stores across the florida region in the most optimal way take another example color image compression with the help of this k means algorithm here now we are going to uh, define an image compression method so you know that image is a two dimensional with the pixel values we are loading that sample image is taken as a flower dot jpg i am sure that represent to show that image that is output return the array dimensions then we have to reshape the data then rescaling that data so it rescale again we have to visualize these pixel values in this color space with a subset of 10000 pixels for efficiency color image means it is a combination of red green and blue so each color is represented by 8 bits so totally we are having 24 bit representation in the x label and y label first we have to plot the red and green then in the second plot we are having red and blue so here we have plotted the pixels totally in this color image we are having 16 million possible colors 
and then the next step we have to import the warnings and then we have to reduce this 16 million colors to just 16 colors so we have to identify what pixels are enough to represent that image so that is mean with the help of this clustering method which is enough to represent that image so in this output we can define by reducing the color space into only 16 colors so this is the original image and this is that 16 color image which is done after color image compression using k-means i hope everyone understand the concept of this k-means clustering algorithm i hope everyone understand the concept of machine learning algorithms meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay kindly like share and subscribe the channel thank you